guys! Today I have an exciting video for you and since my friends and family already know and the people I am close to, I decided to also tell my YouTube family. That is that I got engaged. I got engaged about two weeks ago and I've actually been just here and there with venue stuff and everything that I haven't gotten to sit down and actually talk to you guys about it. So I will kind of tell you the story about how it happened and who I am getting engaged to if you have not seen him on here before. His name is Alex and I will put, we did the Boyfriend Does My Makeup Challenge, I will put that in the bottom bar so you can see him. And he doesn't appear on my videos as much but we will probably be doing more videos together because we are going to end up living together and he's going to have to just love it, love, you know, coming into every video, so. We had been dating for about a year and a half and one day he just asked me if on a Wednesday, I, I think he asked me like on a Monday or Sunday, if on Wednesday I wanted to go get a donut and it was at the donut shop that we originally met in in my town. This was typical, we hadn't gotten donuts for a while but we usually go there just to get a donut and like catch up with our weeks and we just go places to kind of talk and chill so I didn't really think it was out of the ordinary or he was acting weird or anything like that so I was just thinking it was a typical week and a typical Wednesday. So Wednesday comes and I get ready after work to go out and um, we head to his work and it's kind of right by this donut shop and he mentions that his coworker is at work like working on something and I was like, okay, you know, that's cool, like, he can be there. And that, I didn't think anything, like, that was weird, but I thought it was kind of like, like, why would he be telling me what his coworker is doing? We go out of the front door area, and I start to go left because that's where the car was, kind of in the back. And he's like, no, no, it's sketchy back there, we need to go the other way. And that was when I was like, okay, that's weird, because usually... Um, our town's pretty, like, safe. It's not, you know, like, suddenly it gets sketchy in some places. You have to be careful in some areas, but I was like, okay, we'll just go right. Went right, because I was just like, okay, I'll just follow his lead. And he kind of stops um, in front of the actual donut shop, and he kind of is, like, like, moving my hip a little bit, like, to kind of position me some way. And he usually, you know, doesn't tell me, like, how to stand, how to move, you know, how to walk or anything like that. So I was like, okay, something's going on. And um, he said, you know, you mean a lot to me. And then, like, it was like I was just, like, in shock. Like, I didn't know what was going on. And then all of a sudden, he's down on one knee asking me to marry him. And I said yes right away. But then I was like, I was just like not expecting this at all, especially on a Wednesday. You know, as a girl, you expect, like, a Friday or a Saturday, and, you know, you're, like, in a dress, but I was literally in, like, jeans and a cardigan, and his co-worker that he had mentioned was working was actually across the street taking photos of all of this while it was happening, so the reason why his co-worker, I mean, they might have had projects, but he actually was there to kind of capture the moment, so um, I thought that was awesome because I'm a girl that doesn't like, like, a lot of attention on me and a lot of, like, crowds and I'm a pretty big introvert until you get to know me, so I, he knew that probably I didn't want, like, a flash mob and everything going on around me when he would ask this question, so that was really good. I ended up shaking and, um, I, I feel like he was down on one knee for, like, 30 minutes, but it was probably just, like, a minute or two. But I like motioned him to get up and then his coworker um, came running across the street and Alex is like, I got photos, I got photos. And I thought that was awesome because um, I didn't, you know, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know his plan or anything. And the ring is actually a ring. I would have literally gone to the jeweler and picked out myself. And I will say that my Pinterest helped and he admitted that, but he picked it out all by himself. I didn't tell him anything, any colors, any cuts, like nothing like that. And I am just really thankful because we are seriously, like, we're so, com like, there's a lot in common between us, but we're also really different, but we mix really well. So I think our marriage is just going to go really well. I mean, I know there's going to be ups and downs because not every marriage is going to be perfect and all that, but 
I just feel like we're gonna like accomplish things really well together because we even each other out really well but then we also have a ton of similarities and like a ton of the same interest at the same time so he had basically taken me to the place we originally met and then kind of staged it from there and I thought that was so cute and a great way to ask me and I think I told him that I realized one of my first questions to him after this was, did you ask my father? He had actually gotten my parents' blessing like the Sunday before this happened, so I was surprised because my mother like kept that secret from me for, I don't know, a few days, maybe like four days, and I was just so surprised and I didn't see it coming, and my coworker was actually mentioning like, oh, I bet you'll get engaged soon, I bet you'll get engaged soon. I was like, I don't know, like, because he wasn't acting anyway, he wasn't like, I mean, we would like talk about the future, but he wasn't like, you know, dropping big hints where it's like, okay, it's going to be, you know, like in the next month. So I was just really shocked and I am glad it happened that way because it was perfect the way it happened and the fact that I have pictures is awesome as well. After that, we kind of went on a little stroll to one of our shopping centers in our town and we stopped to get some hummus like it's like this chicken shawarma hummus and we kind of contacted both of our families and um, they're both really excited and then like I don't know two days after we realized that venues and days for photographers and everything like that fill up so fast we were getting so stressed out and we never are really stressed in our relationship but we were like both kind of stressed out like oh my gosh we chose this day for the church and now all these days are filled up for everything else but we ended up finding everything we needed to kind of you know like book in advance um a lot of the details still need to be you know put together like my dress and food and all that stuff but we got the big things out of the way so we're just really excited and he actually really wants to help plan which is awesome as well another thing i just recently got because i'm that person that i'm always on pinterest now and i'm always looking through etsy and um i'm kind of like ocd organization weirdo i got this um the not ultimate wedding guide and this was from amazon for 18 dollars. i think originally it's like around 30 if you went to barnes and noble but basically in here it's like everything you need for your wedding budget um, venue, guest list, any like dress and accessories, the ceremony, the bridal party, your bridesmaids, um, photos, video, you know, everything in here you can put in here. And then even in the back, it has a place to where you can put people's business cards. And then in the front, it has this color chart to where what colors go with what. And I'm thinking that my colors are going to be like a deep purple with some grays and maybe like a deep blue but I haven't decided that part yet um, but it you can like you know cut these out and give it to your cake person or your floral person whatever it's just a great book to have if you are engaged and to be married I really recommend this I will put the link in the bottom bar and then I've also been just going random places and like shopping for um, art decor like cheap stuff or if I see something that's like oh we're gonna need that I pick it up so I was at TJ Maxx and I saw these cute, oh, you can't really see what they say, but they say Mr. and Mrs. in script and they are champagne glasses because the bride and groom usually have champagne um, in front of them at their table. And these were only $8 and I told him, like I texted, I text him anytime I find something to see if he approves, which, you know, men don't always have a huge opinion and everything, just like the stuff they want say on, which is fine, but I always tell him like do you like this do you like this and even if he doesn't he might say yes I don't know but <laughs> these are our champagne glasses and it says Mr. and Mrs. so I said we can use these after the wedding too you know like for wine and stuff like that do the ring a little bit more up close I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well but here it is I'll take it off for you guys so um it has one main diamond and then the sides have smaller diamonds kind of water falling down and then it's kind of like I guess they call this cathedral and then um, it has like two little openings in it he actually um, when he was over my apartment he took this is a ring my parents gave me he took this ring and it was off my finger and he put it in on a bar of soap 
and then he took that to the jeweler and that's how they got this size for me so I thought that was like super tricky of him to do and um, it fit me perfectly but I've noticed since it's gotten a little chillier that it does um, like go on and off super easily and it's supposed to be a little more snug so we might take it in and have it resized a bit but I mean for it to like you know fit over my finger and it was like a glove when he put it on he was like yes it fits and I just think that's really cool that um, you know we didn't have to resize right away or anything. Some of our stress has left us by getting a venue and all that. I will share more wedding videos with you guys and I will probably get him into one and um, we're really excited and we're really excited to plan and we're kind of just in the process of you know like getting the guest list, getting like what colors we want, doing our songs, like everything like that and um, where our families are excited we're excited and if you guys want to know anything about planning a wedding or anything about like my colors or what we're gonna do or anything like that I will be happy to share it with you all and we are getting married in about a year we're gonna have a fall wedding because I've always wanted a fall wedding it's gonna be kind of um I hope like California weather when it's fall here because the summers here are atrocious like a hundred degrees every day and humidity out the wazoo so I didn't want that but um I'm really excited and he's really excited and it's just really cool when you get to marry your best friend and you find somebody that basically does turn into your best friend and you're like you just realize how well you fit together. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I also hope I didn't leave anything out. If I did, feel free to leave anything in the comments below, and I'll see you all later. Bye!